friends, today is day 10 of our Christmas book read-alouds. Can you believe it? Already day 10! I forgot to mention in our last book, um, Pinklicious, Mary Pinkmas, that it was day 9, or did I? I don't remember, but it was day 9. This was day 8. And we're reading a book called The Dancing Bears Meet Santa Bear. And this is our 10th of Christmas. Okay, there's a note in the beginning of every Bernstein Bear book. I have to warn you. So it says, The Bernstein Bears meet Santa Bear. Special music's in the air and Santa's at the mall. What do little bears make of it all? Can we say hey? I don't know. We'll have to find out, okay? It was just two days after Thanksgiving and the sights and sounds of Christmas could be seen and heard all over bear country. It seems to me, said Mama Bear, as the bear family arrived at the bear country mall, that the Christmas season starts earlier every year. Yes, isn't it great, said Papa Bear, admiring the mall decorations. I'm not so sure, said Mama. I'm concerned about Brother and Sister Bear. Too much excitement isn't good for, for cubs. There, the Bear Country Mall. No need to be concerned, said Papa. Brother and sister are good little cubs. I'm sure they'll be calm and sensible about the whole thing. But if Papa had looked at brother and sister at that moment, he wouldn't have been so sure. They were passing the big new toy store, and brother and sister didn't look the least bit calm and sensible. They really want some toys. That they had just come from watching Saturday sorry, Saturday morning television and they there had been lots of commercials for the Christmas toys. Sister had wanted them all. A bear a bear hug teddy that hugged you back when you squeezed it. A ride on pink pony. A clown face mobile kit. And giggly goo, a strange substance that you could make into all sorts of funny shapes. To giggle. Then there had been some things that brother was excited about, too, especially the remote control robot that could stand on its head. And a dinosaur molding kit. So he doesn't want as much as Sister Bear. She has four things and only wants two. And there they were, right in the toy store window, plus lots more. Sister was so excited, she was practically jumping up and down. And Brother read a sign saying Santa Bear was coming to the mall to meet all his cub friends. She got even more excited. Oh, Santa Bear, she cried. Oh, Mama, may I come meet Santa Bear? Please, may I? Please. In good time, said Mama, sighed again said Mama, sighing again. Calm and sensible, eh? Said, she said, looking at Papa. There's the sign, says, Coming soon, Santa Bear will be here to meet his friends. Oh my gosh. The bears really want to meet him, huh? Sister Bear could hardly wait to get hardly wait to start her Christmas list. She needed a little help from Brother with the hard words, but she didn't need any help thinking of things she wanted for Christmas. So here's the list. Dear Santa Bear, this is my Christmas list. Bear Hug Teddy, Happy Pink Pony, Clown Mobile, Giggly Goo, A Red Ball, Bubble Pipe, Gumball Machine, Doll House Furniture, New Doll Clothes, Electric Toy, Washing Machine, Electric toy washing machine, comb and brush set, birthday birthstone ring, pink mittens, ice skates, 
Over the next few days, the sights and sounds of Christmas became stronger and stronger, and sister's list grew longer and longer. After a while, it looked like this. To see the rest of sister's list, please turn the page. Okay. More. Oh, I forgot to show you. Look how long that list is. Now let's turn the page. It says, um, storybooks, coloring books, crayon, crayons, paints, paint pads, clay, bunny puppet, froggy puppet, teddy cart, bike, roller skates, and puzzles. Yeah. You know, warned brother, if your list is too long, Santa might think you're greedy and not bring you anything. Sister had thought. Sister hadn't thought of that. Santa has lots of cubs besides, besides to think about all the cubs in the world. Oops, sorry. Santa Bear has lots of cubs besides you to think about all the cubs in the world. She hadn't thought of that either. As she looked at her long list, she began to get a little nervous. Have you ever met Santa Bear? She asked. Sure, answered Brother, who was finishing up his list, which was very short. A couple of years ago, he asked if I'd been he'd asked he asked if I'd been good. Then I told him what I wanted for Christmas and gave him my list, and that was that. It was fun. It's his brother's list to Santa. It says, Dear Santa Bear, for Christmas I would like a robot that can stand on its head and a dinosaur molding kit and some surprises. Thank you, Brother Bear. So that's his. And this and this. It's sister's. Now sister was really nervous. She thought of all the times she hadn't exactly been good. The time she and brother got had gotten into a fight and shouted at each other. The time mama's best lamp had gotten broken and they told a big lie. And the time that they had let their room get so messy that mama had threatened to throw away all their toys. Oh, I wouldn't worry about those times, said Mama, giving Sister a little hug. Santa Bear doesn't expect cubs to be perfect, just good. Then she said, I hope you have your list ready because tomorrow is the day we are going to meet Santa Bear. Sister gulped. It's almost ready, she said. But what about your list for Santa? Yours and Papa's. Don't worry about that, sweetie, said Papa. Santa Bear isn't for grown-ups. He's just for cubs. Ooh, a lot of words. whispered brother. Presents for Mama and Papa is our job, silly. Come on, let's see how much we've, you've got in your piggy bank. Sister had just enough. Brother had enough and a little extra. That evening, sister made a new list. It looked a lot like brother's. Just throwing her old list away and making a new short list. When they got to Santa Bear's little house in the mall the next day, there were there was a line. While Sister waited, she began to think about Santa and what a hard job he had. She wondered how he took care of all those cubs. She wondered where he got all those presents. She wondered then before she could wonder another wonder. It was her turn, and she was... It was her turn, and she was up on Santa Bear's big lamp. Last word. It's very nice to see you, he said in a deep, jolly voice. Now, tell me, my dear, have you been good this year? Well, said Sister, taking a deep breath. I haven't been perfect, but I have been good. Then she told him what she wanted for Christmas and gave him her list. Then then Santa gave Sister and every other cub a coloring, a souvenir coloring book. The cover showed him 
showed him and his eight tiny reindeer flying through the starry night. Sister's mind was so filled with thoughts about Santa that she, that she almost forgot about the special shopping she had to do. But brother remembered they found just the right presents for Mama and Papa. Sister chose a fine new fur brush for Papa and a lovely new pin cushion for Mama for her pins when she knew. When brother bought Mama a box of her favorite breakfast tea and for Papa a handy pocket capsule. Look, said Sister as they were leaving the mall, another Santa. She was right. They're ringing a bell. Was a rather skinny Santa with a Waggly, waggly beard. Beside him was a iron pot that said, "Help the needy." That's one of Santa's many helpers," explained Papa. His job is to collect money to the needy, birds who need seeds, squirrels who didn't put enough aside for the winter. The bear family all put money in the pot. Sister had spent all hers and had to borrow some from Mama. Finally, the days and weeks of preparation and waiting were over, and it was Christmas Eve. You know something, Papa? said Sister as she helped hang the last holly wreath. I've been thinking about Santa Bear and what he and what a hard job he has. How can he visit every cub in the world in just a single night? Where does he get all those goods? And besides, how can reindeer fly? And how can the sleigh land if it doesn't if it doesn't snow? And how can Santa come down our skinny little chimney? Papa took a deep breath, then looked up at the starry night. I guess the answer, my dear, is that is that Christmas is a special time that very, that very special almost magical things can happen and the most magical thing of all is santa bear i'd say he has the best job in the whole world because the joy of giving is what christmas is all about i suppose says sister that santa could just skip the chimney and come in front of the door i suppose said papa then before she went inside, she took one last look at the starry night, but it had clouded over. And now, instead of stars, there were snowflakes, thousands and thousands of small, silent snowflakes. Well, she thought, at least that'll help him with the sleigh. When Sister woke up on Christmas morning, Bear Country was covered with a beautiful blanket of snow, and the floor beneath the Bear's Christmas tree was covered with piles of beautiful pres presents. What fun! What excitement! What shouting! The name tag for all of you in the house. Look how cool! Little Bear on the map. Then, when the excitement and shouting were over, the cubs watched Mama and Papa open their presents. What lovely, thoughtful gifts, said Mama. Just what I wanted, said Papa. It was a very special moment. Sister knew right then and there that Papa, sorry, Papa was right. Santa Bear did have the best job in the whole world because the joy of giving was what Christmas was all about. And that's the end of the Bernstein Bears Meet Santa Bear. See you tomorrow for day 11, 10, 11. See you
you soon. Bye, guys.